What if I told you Samsung is already working on something even bigger just hours after dropping its most anticipated update of the year? Yep, you heard that right. While most Galaxy users are still wrapping their heads around One UI 8, Samsung has secretly started testing One UI 8.5 on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. That's not just a small patch, it's a whole new jump forward. And the crazy part, this twist came right after the official rollout of One UI 8 based on Android 16, even before the dust settled. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss more updates like this. So here's the big twist. One UI 8.0 just started going live worldwide with Galaxy S25 owners receiving the BYA3 firmware based on Android 16. This update brings in fresh Galaxy AI tools, new refinements, and of course the September security patch. But while most of us were celebrating that, Samsung was already won the first One UI 8.5 build for the S25 Ultra. The new firmware, tagged as 9388BXU Fuse IA, weighs in at nearly 2.5 GB, comes with Android 16 at its core, and shows One UI 8.5 clearly in the version info. Screenshots confirm it even includes the September 1st, 2025 patch, proving this isn't some leftover experiment, it's the real deal. Think about it, Samsung could have sat back and let One UI 8 enjoy the spotlight for months. Instead, they're preparing an update that usually doesn't show up until a new flagship arrives. And speaking of that, One UI 8.5 is widely expected to deboot alongside the Galaxy S26 series early next year. But here's the exciting part when it does, Samsung's track record suggests the S25 lineup will also get the same refinements through a software update. So if you own a Galaxy S25, you might not be waiting as long as you think. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. Remember how Samsung completely skipped One UI 7.1? They went straight from One UI 7.0 to 8.0 thanks to Google's accelerated Android 16 release schedule. That sudden leap caught a lot of people off guard, but it also meant Samsung's flagship devices like the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Flip 7 launched with the freshest possible software. This time, it looks like they're doing it again pushing boundaries faster than expected, and leaving competitors scrambling to keep up. But, let's talk about availability. Europe is finally joining the One UI 8 party with Germany and the UK now officially rolling out updates after South Korea and India got them earlier. That means Galaxy S25, S25 Fuzz, and S25 Ultra owners across Europe can now jump straight into Android 16 with all its bundled perks. And this isn't just cosmetic, the update enhances Galaxy AI features, smooths out animations, and packs in stability fixes that make daily use feel snappier. Still, the story doesn't stop there. Samsung is also polishing beta builds for both the Galaxy S24 and S25 series. Fresh test firmware has been spot on their servers, 928BXU4ZHB for the S24 lineup and 938MKSU5ZYHB for the S25. Interestingly, while the S24 beta firmware seems to be in wider global testing, the S25 is still limited to Korea for now. This usually means we're on the verge of one final beta before the stable release drops. For S24 users, it's more about fine tuning and polishing, while for S25 users, it's about clearing the last hurdles before stability. And here's something mid-range users will love. Samsung has just opened a dedicated One UI 8 beta page for the Galaxy A36 inside the Samsung community. That's basically their official signal that the beta is ready to launch soon. The forum will be the central hub for announcements, change logs, and bug reports, letting testers directly engage with Samsung engineers and other users. Meanwhile, beta builds for the A35, A54, and A55 are also being prepared, meaning Samsung's latest software isn't staying exclusive to flagships for long. Now, let's zoom out for a second. Why is all this happening so quickly? The answer lies in strategy. Google's faster Android release timeline pushed Samsung to move quicker but the company also knows its audience is paying close attention to software now more than ever. Updates aren't just about security patches anymore, they're about AI tools, camera refinements, and ecosystem features that give your phone a brand new feel without buying new hardware. By teasing One UI 8.5 so early, Samsung is sending a clear message. They want their phones to stay exciting all year long, not just at launch. So here's where we're at, One UI 8.0 is officially rolling out one UI 8.5 is secretly being tested, and Samsung is already preparing its next wave of betas for both flagships and mid-range devices. The question is, what new features will 8.5 bring that justify skipping ahead so fast? Will we see deeper Galaxy AI integration, a redesigned interface, or maybe features reserved for the Galaxy S26 that Samsung might surprise us with early? That's what makes this so exciting. Every new leak feels like a breadcrumb trail leading to something bigger. 
And trust me, as soon as more details surface, I'll be here breaking them down for you. So what do you think? Should Samsung pace itself, or do you like this rapid fire update strategy? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed hanging out with me today, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss the next deep dive. Until then, this is Sam signing off. Catch you in the next one!